What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba Marina. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference of square profiles versus multi-level profiles. We're gonna talk about how we plan, execute, and log each dive, whether you're using the tables or a computer system. So when I talk about a square profile, basically what I'm talking about is a task-oriented dive where I'm going to a certain depth for a certain amount of time, and then of course I wanna log the own gassing of nitrogen by simply recording what's called my pressure group. On a multi-level profile, this is more a fun recreational style dive. Let's say you're diving on a shipwreck and you go to the lowest point or the deepest part of that shipwreck, and you're gonna spend a little bit of time, maybe make a couple of circles around it, and then as you work your way up to say the deck of the boat or the deck of the shipwreck, then of course you're gonna spend a little bit more time there, and then you come up to say the wheelhouse part of it or the cabin area, and spend a little bit of time there and then gradually work your way up to do your safety stop and then in. Now that of course is called a multi-level dive and in that particular type of dive you're going to have to use your computer to plan it. Now I will state this that there are certain tables and electronic tables out there that will allow you to plan multi-level dives however it's a little bit easier today thanks to technology to simply use our computer. So let's plan a dive using the dive tables in a just a square shaped profile and see just how easy it is. Now one thing I will state, I did use the SSI tables. If you're using a different manufacturer or a different training agency's tables, the procedure is going to be the same as far as how you read it. However, your answers and the information that you get may be slightly different than mine. So let's say that I want to go to a depth of 74 feet. All I've got to do is simply find 74 on the chart, find out what my maximum allowable time or my no decompression time or my Doppler time is. And of course, according to the tables, I'm going to have a total time of 30 minutes that I can spend at that depth. And of course, as I come up, all I've got to do is simply log down that pressure group or that minutes of nitrogen that I just stuck in my body. If I move over to the multi-level profile, it's a little bit more difficult to plan. Of course, I can't use just a standard set of dive tables. I can use an old wheel set of tables if I want to, or I can use, say, a multi-level electronic planner if I want to. However, using a dive computer is so much simpler. And the cool thing about a dive computer is as you get shallower and shallower throughout your dive, it's going to recalculate itself for you so that you're not having to do all the math in your head. So if I do the exact same beginning part of that profile where I go to 74 feet, I'm still going to only have that 30 minute bottom time. But as I come up to a shallower depth, say if I'm coming from the sand up to say the deck of the shipwreck, as I come up, that computer is going to recalculate the own gassing of nitrogen and it's actually going to give me a little bit more bottom time. So let's say at a depth of 74 feet for 30 minutes, as I come up to say a depth of 50 feet, I may gain an additional 20 minutes of bottom time simply because this, I get shallower, there's less pressure, and I'm not actually on gassing quite as much nitrogen, so I can actually stay a little bit longer. And after I spend a little bit of time there, of course I'm going to come up to, say, a depth of 30 feet, and that may even give me an additional 10 minutes of bottom time. So I'm actually gaining time as I get more and more shallower in the water column. And then, of course, I come up to do my three-minute safety stop at 15 feet, and then, of course, I'm going to end my dive. So if we compare these two dives, let's say that you're using dive tables to plan your dive versus a computer and we're both going to a depth of 74 feet. If you use it with the tables, you're only going to have a maximum bottom time of say 30 minutes. However, on this profile, this multi-level profile, if you will, using the dive computer, I'm going to have a maximum time at 74 feet of 30 minutes. As I come up to 50 feet, I may gain 20 minutes. So there is a total bottom time of 50 minutes. As I come up to 30 feet, I may gain an additional 10 more minutes. So total here, I'm going to have 60 minutes of bottom time versus only having 30 minutes by doing that square profile and planning with the tables. Now, we don't want to neglect the tables because they actually work as a great backup to, say, a computer failure situation. They also work good if you're doing that task-oriented dive where you're only going to be going to a certain depth for a certain amount of time. They actually work great for that. However, the computer is a little bit easier to plan with. It does make your dives a little bit more funner because you're taking some of the, the technicalities out of it and it's still going to give you more time and it's going to keep you safer. In general, a dive computer is actually more conservative than what a set of dive tables is. Let's take a quick look and see if we can prove that. On, according to the air nitrox tables from SSI, at a depth of 74 feet, I've got a total of 30 minutes. If I do the same thing on my computer, 
and I go to the log feature, or I'm sorry, the plan feature, if I go to plan and I go to a depth of 74 feet, now I've only got about 27 minutes. So it's actually three minutes shy of what my maximum time is by the dive tables itself. However, it will calculate that ascent rate, if you will, or that multi-level diving, and I'll actually gain time as I ascend. So the dive tables versus the dive computers, there's definitely still a purpose for both, but in general, we typically always wanna use the dive computer. Use your tables for task-oriented dives. Use your tables as a backup to your computer, but always plan your dives, of course, with your computer. It's gonna make your dives more enjoyable, and it's gonna actually give you more time underwater. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you got any questions, please check out some of the other videos in the description below. I've got several videos as far as multi-level profiles, reverse profiles, planning dives using both air and nitrox. Check out those videos as well. I think they'll definitely be helpful for you. Definitely share this video. If you have some friends who's having a little bit of trouble with their tables, definitely show this video to them and show them why the new age way of diving with dive computers is a little bit better than using the tables in general. But guys, if you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.